Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, the official, the one, the only, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, or liars and slanderers. And I want to thank the person who did a video on the evil Howie Cat. Because Howie Cat thinks that views to his channel where he uses content by others where he lies and slanders are important. They're not. All right. I have been busy putting away laundry and taking a nap yesterday. I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. Cat feeding. You see a picture of a bag of cat food and there's a picture of Red Eagle Politics screen with a $300 super chat. I did that for a reason because it's not just all about me. It's also about the cats. That's why I asked for donations to get things that I need and the kitties need. I had to buy a new charging cable because the evil anchor company would not honor their no hassle lifetime warranty or refuse to send me a new cable when mine started dying. There's a new Belkin $35 cable. I went down to the Apple store to get one. Now the charging port is loose. So I got to go back with this iPad. I think this thing is cursed. But. So far, there has been no fraying of the rubber like four successive anchor cables have done. So I thank Kathy for that, for letting me use her credit card to go get it. I uh, didn't do much shopping. I, didn't sh I bought a box of Meow Mix for the kitties, 24 cups. Mama Cat and Kitten, very cutely, I came home from shopping. And Mama Cat and Kitten, I thought it was fluffy because he likes to go across the street and wait for me. They were waiting for me across the street in the dark, looking up at me, looking, saying, cat food, cat food. <laughs> Came home from the bus. They've never done that before. So I was just astonished. Which means, you know, I now have two cats that are waiting for me to come home like Fluffy does and Little Girl and Fuzzy. They're my cats now. <laughs> so they got fed, as did everybody else. But I, I came home and, and lied down, called Kathy. It was 82 here at 5.30 in the evening when I was in the Apple store. I got to play around in an, with an iMac Pro incredibly fast compared to my 2008 or my 2010 or anything I own. And um, when I left the house, I'd just taken a shower. I put on clean clothes, a clean shirt. I'm not put away all my towels. And from the la doing laundry Sunday night. And I fell asleep in the Target in the wheelchair because I didn't get enough sleep. And my, when I got home, my clothes were just soaked. They were just all sweaty and icky. And I put them on the floor. And what fun do you do? She goes to sleep on them. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I gave her a hospital gown that uh, I had worn at one point. It was clean. She's now happily sitting on that across from me. That's her new spot on the floor. So, and Kathy came over, but when we went out together, we walked to the bus, and it was like, it felt like it was 100 degrees. It was just horrible. And they were repaving the road, so we had to step up into the bus they had the air conditioner going full blast on every bus except the one I came home on. We went to the bank. We went to the credit union to get my account number. Kathy didn't give me the paperwork for the bank to get her SNAP benefits. I have to get that. I have to go over to her next week. Take a picture of her thermostat because it stopped working. And her garbage disposal stopped working. And so... Got to deal with all that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the medication they gave me without checking to see what side effects has been causing my acid reflux to go crazy. So, in any event, uh, by the way, uh, I'm, it's sitting on... I'm, hold on a minute. I'm using the box to rest the iPad on, and now everything else is collapsing on me. Clunk. Uh, move these screwdrivers. I had to unscrew part of what's in the box. 
All right, this is going off uh, on the 3rd to Harley D. Cat, care of the Masked Spoof Air. And this is gifts for Harley D. Cat and a gift for the Spoof Air. And I know the haters will hate it. That's part of why I'm doing it. All I promised every month, Harley D. Cat will get cat gifts, and there's lots of kitty gifts in there. Unfortunately, it will not be there in time for Halloween, but I know Harley will like it very much. And so I will get cat gifts as well. And I keep hoping that Lucky Ferrells will publish my video, publish the video with my gifts for her kitties. And she and Zoa and Harley will get more kitty gifts. There's already things I want to send them. That I'm not asking anybody to pay for that. That's out of my pocket. So, and I did the first podcast, and I am very sleepy right now, or I would do it now. So, tell us tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday. I will do the podcast episode two Wednesday. I'll probably be talking about politics and the election, because it's important. And... the choice you have. We have a choice between Americanism, the continuation of our history, the continuation of American values, those who are out there will put down American values, as they always do, because they are America haters. And a choice to reward socialism, Marxism, communism that seeks to destroy America. So that's how I feel. And we saw the evidence of it after World War II. Patton warned us, and he was a threat to the deep state because they did not want to listen. They wanted retribution against the Germans, and he said, we're going to see all of Europe. He was wrong in that respect, but we're going to see all of Europe go communistic. We saw half of Europe taken over. And they were not free till the 80s, thanks to Ronald Reagan. And we have that potential for this country to be destroyed by extreme Marxism. And that's frightening to me and many others. And I frankly think that President Trump will prevail. And I hope his wife, the First Lady, will get over her illness. She's having coughing issues. So, uh... I'll do the podcast tomorrow and see about doing another video. I will not be live. I will not do live videos because I am not getting any financial support from the viewers or subscribers. And I feel after doing this for nine years, December 10th, I should be getting financial support as dozens of YouTube subscribers. I mean, uh, creators are getting. So, anyone who criticizes me, they don't want to watch me doing haul videos. They only like to see Kathy. Well, you're not going to see Kathy. Uh, not on live video because she feels the same way as I do. And, by the way, while she was here, we, uh, I picked up my phone. I had to call a number of calls, and I said, hmm, Let's see what happens. We call the um, Angry Patty. So I did. And when I go up to Kathy's house, I'll do a video and you'll get Kathy's reaction and her words when she left a very nice message for Patty. Patty actually answered the phone, which shocked me. But then Patty's, Patty's commentary was so tacky and so short that it said a million words and it's unbelievable anybody can act like that but I'm going to let Kathy tell me I'm not going to say a word other than introduce it so hopefully that I can get this thing the wiggly of the charging cable and the port. Hopefully the port is not bad again. I don't have another $140 to pay for it. I only got $80 from Anchor when they promised to pay the $140 back. And the store said, uh, 
the repair shop. I said, well, it's not worth it to open it up and repair it again. I said, yes, it is to me if I can't charge it. So that's where I stand. And it's getting closer to Halloween, and we're very sad that we can't go out on Halloween. We're going to go out on Halloween on, on the daytime, Friday. Go to the spirit tour, go get something to eat, hang out for a while. And then I'll get on the Target and make a payment on the Target bill and pay my other bills. I'm going to pay my Capital One bill on the following Monday at Capital One's Banking Center and take care of everything else I have to do. And I've got the door open. It's very cold in here. So um, that's about it. Uh, doing the laundry wore me out, as it always does, because I had to stay up all night doing laundry during the day. There's, and one of the laundry, one of the washers was making a horrible whirring noise. Sounds like something screeching, like a like a, a very angry dragon, as it spins, and uh, the lights are out. The light is out in the third floor laundry room, so I do laundry in the dark. So it's been interesting. This is why I want to get all the laundry out of here, <laughs> so I can put it all. And then the problem is when I get the laundry done, then I got to expend the energy, find a place to put it all. And I threw out four more bins of stuff. And uh, I'm only keeping boxes like this to mail stuff off. Rather than recycle it, I just hold on to them. And that way I don't have to go buy boxes. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. If you wish to donate to the channel, it's Falky, F-A-L-K-A-E, 2013 at gmail.com. That's my PayPal email address. Or you can send cat gifts, gift cards for the cats, or for things that I need, uh, checks, money orders, to George Senda, 815 Court Street, number 786 Martinez, California, 94553. It is, good Lord, 417 in the morning. And that's why I don't get enough sleep. I'm staying up all night watching videos and cleaning and doing dishes and other things. And then I don't realize, it. i got to get to bed. What am I doing? I'm on the bed and I'm not sleeping. All right. Have a great morning. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. It's finally cooled down in Martina. It's going to be 78 today. And later in the week, it'll be in the 70s. And it's supposed to rain on Saturday. And stay safe. And I will catch you next time. General Catton says hello. All right. Bye-bye for now. We're counting the days till Halloween, and I'm going to go out probably Friday night and film. I don't know how long I'm going to do this. Uh, I guess take the bus up and get off at the Safeway and then walk back the three miles and start filming decorations. By the way, um, the last thing is... I called Safeway about my blood pressure medication that I haven't had for two weeks. I getting, keep getting headaches. Kathy said, probably you don't have your blood pressure medication. Blood pressure medication. I gave him say it. And they said, oh, it's uh, expired. You have to order it. And I called General Med Medicine up and they said, oh, well, we've uh, done that in the past. We've sent it to them. And they said, they keep telling me they never got it. So I go through the circus all the time for something I have to take for the rest of my life. Unless I lose enough weight, my blood pressure goes down, which I'm working on. I have lost weight, but I don't know where, I don't know how much or where, but I go in the bathroom and look at the mirror in my face. It looks like I'm getting thinner, and uh, I'm just not sure, but I'm not eating as much. And some of the food I've been eating has been attacking me, <laughs> the, some of the horrible meals and meals and dinners. So, all right, that's it. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel, please. Bye-bye for now. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh.